Hi. <laughs> I was doing it again. I was talking away to this camera, realized I hadn't pushed the start button. It's called uh, old timers. Some timers. <laughs> Anyways, this is my cast off video. Um, been working uh, very hard, a lot of hours, uh, but my summer's coming to the end and I've got about four weeks left. Um, and then I'm laid off and I'll have more time to crochet and uh, do other stuff. You know, I've been doing hairpin lace, uh, some knitting, uh, some tatting. Uh, I started back up with my jewelry. I've got a, a hopefully um, next month a uh, craft sale. I'm waiting to find out if I can get a table or not. Uh, so I've been working on, on getting some stuff um, made up. Unfortunately, the person that was supposed to go in on the table with me again has popped out again. So I'm trying like crazy to get enough to put on the table for myself alone because, I mean, these are fairly good-sized tables and I, I'm not sure if I'll have enough stuff for everything. But we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Anyway, the kind of stuff I'm putting out is uh, a lot of baby stuff. Um, what I've made is, this is made with um, Red Heart Yarn, of course, and it's a baby cocoon. Um, I've made two of them. First is uh, this one here done in a, a denim blue because I have a lot of it. I made my afghan out of it and I still had lots left over. So, and it's a nice little cocoon for to put a baby in. Um, all nice and snuggly with a little, little hat, you know. It's just um, double crochet. And then there's like a shell on the bottom for two rows. Uh, I think I made it with a number four crochet hook and, of course, the Red Heart yarn. Uh, that was the second one I made. The first one I made was a Baby Bouquet, a Bernat Baby Bouquet. It's the exact same pattern. And uh, that your hat's, it's pink and it's very uh, fuzzy and kind of bumpy wool. I don't know if I'd use this again. It was very hard to do the stitches on this one, but it is so soft, you know, and you put your little baby in there for the winter months, and my problem is I'm not sure what to charge for something like this, so I kind of have to guesstimate. And I've been looking on the internet to see what other people were charging and try and figure out, um, you know, area and demographics and whether or not it would actually sell for the price in our area. And then I had, uh, my husband bought me a book, Crochet, Crochet World book last year. And I've been making, slowly making one thing of everything in the book. And that's where I made my little puppy dog, my patchwork puppy dog. I made a little, um, we call them dookies. They're like a little blanket with, um, well, one could be a little froggy, a stuffed froggy attached to the top of it. It's a little, they call them, we call them dookies. It's for the baby to hold. It's a kind of a comfort blanket. Anyways, this here is a cute little... Let me get it so you can actually see. Oh, there it is. Just a cute little purse. Uh, it's two round discs. Like this. Uh, start off with a, a, a chain of two and then you six double crochets, then 12, then 18, and I went up till I had 48 in the round. And you make two of them and on, and then you uh, crochet them together, make the little snout, embroider the eyes and stuff on it. I made the little ears, and I just have the little um, snaps to put on the inside. A little purse for a little, you know, something that they could put a little lip balm, lipstick thingy in it, and maybe a little bit of coin in there so they think they have money in it and a Kleenex of course for you know emergency um, and I also made um, I've made a few of these these are bath mitts quite easy to make I make it with uh, cotton and this is the part you wash yourself with and then you have the back to keep them interested so they want to get in the tub and play with their new bath mitt you see and this one's a lion, and I made a little, um, it didn't call for it, but I made a little hook so that you can 
hook it in the bathtub on the wall. You can put those little cup hooks, you know, the adhesive bags. This one here is a star. It's just um, a single crochet. There's nothing hard about this. And this one here, I had um, two different kinds of uh, yarn. So I had this kind and this kind. And depending on what kind of mood they're in, as to whether which side they want to use. And again, another little hook. And then I was going around, I thought, you know, i got to make a different, something different. I mean, the, the, the line's okay for a little boy, but what about for a little girl, right? So I made this one here, and I, I just kind of fooled around until I came up with a little bunny rabbit. That one there is my own invention. I'm really impressed. So I finally made something without having to look at it in a pattern book. So. And then, of course, I've made a bunch of these scrunchies. You know, the star scrunchies. Those, like, I can make them up in about five minutes. Like, they're, they're really quick, quick to make up. So, um, and of course... Ever faithful, I love these bath mat, these these dish cloths. So I made a bunch of these up, you know. I've got lots made so far, but they don't take long. Maybe about an hour, I spend making these here. Then in the book it had a um, a baby hat, and the baby hat had a pair of. Um, booties to go with it and they said this was for 12 months and I thought you know I don't know of any 12 month old babies that wear booties really usually at 12 months they're walking around so I decided instead of making the booties I would make a pair of mitts well first of all I'm going to show you the hat now the hat is just your basic uh, back loop stitch you know uh, you crochet this way this way here back and forth back and forth back and forth and when it gets big enough, then you stitch it, crochet it together. And then it just kind of, you know, because that's all it is. Just a, like a ribbing, okay? And then on the top, it was so cute. It makes you want to have another one around the house. Almost. Not quite. Anyways, and this is, I know it doesn't really look right, but it's got a couple ears. It's a teddy bear. And it's so cute <laughs> to die for. Send me your babies. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> so I decided to make a pair of just plain ordinary mitts. Okay. And on the back of them, I added a little teddy bears. So I am going to make um, a string. You know, go one from from one to the other. I'm just not quite sure how long I should make it. I was thinking maybe oh, 12 inches or so away. If anybody's got any suggestions, please feel free to call or to send me a little note. Let me know how long I should make it because I don't have any little children around to, to measure. And then I, I made a pair of just middies. You know, they have a really tiny mini this. I get two fingers in there. That's it. They are so cute. Again, uh, I want to put draw uh, the string, the holding string on it, but I'm not sure. And the last thing I've got, and I'm not sure if I showed this to you before or not. I don't think so, but I do that hairpin lace. And I have made a shawl for myself out of it, but I decided to make a baby blanket out of the hairpin lace. And this is what I don't know. This is what it looks like up close. These are individual strips done like the mile a minute afghan. And then you just take your hook because you have a, on either side there's there's loops and you just kind of hook the loops together to get this nice little crisscross effect in between. And then on the ends I just put some tassels and this is about 30 by 35 this one here inches wide so soft 
really soft. I've done this with, um, it was Red Heart Yarn, but it's a uh, number three. Num uh, number three. Really soft. Very nice. But anyway, that's what I've got. Um, oh, yeah, I did get something to help me with my, uh, I'll, br I'll bring her around. I, I don't have a name or anything. I went to this store. I've been looking around for um, one of those um, um, dress forms that you make clothes and you use it to, you know, make it for your size and all that stuff. I, I am not paying five hundred dollars for one. I don't. I, I'm not a professional person. I just do this because I like to do this. So, anyways, I kept going around to yard sales. And, stores and see if they had any that they were throwing out or a mannequin or anything at all and I went to this um, used store and they had one uh, when they first opened up and I asked the woman I said how much do you want for it and she said twenty dollars and I said okay fine I'll take it perfect right and then when she realized what I was asking about she says, oh no that's not for sale I said okay fine so I left and a few months went by, and I'm still searching, and I went back to the store to see if she'd gotten anything in, and I asked her, and she said no, but she said, I will sell that one over there that you were looking at before, and I said, well, how much do you want for it? And she said, well, how much will you give me? And I went, well, how about $35? And she said, no, no, no. She says, I want uh, 90 I said, no, I'm not paying $90. And I started to walk away, and she said, uh, uh, well, how about 50? And I went, how about 40? And she goes, hmm. all right, she said, I'll take $40. So I give her the $40 before she could change her mind. And I start to go out the door, and the woman says, I said, well, I better leave before you change your mind, because I don't want you to take it back. And she goes, well, she says, yeah, you better leave. She says, I might want it back. I said, well, if you want it back, it'll cost you $90. <laughs> and I laughed and I left the store. Now, this is what I got. I got this. It's what they use in a store to hang, display their, their clothes with. Um, like this. And there it is. And it goes right to the floor. It has a stand. Oh, I Maybe if I got my butt out of the way here, you could see it. And inside, on, on in here, there is um, a turny thing. It's my con. I have such a great vocabulary. I know all these famous words. Anyways, um, so I can make it higher or lower. And this way, it's not my size, but... I can use it um, to kind of judge. It's better than not having anything. And it helps, too. I'll be able to put it on here if I do happen to make any more stuff, too. So that's what I bought. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't have anything else to show you. I am working on a purse. Um, I've collected... Uh, 500 tabs, pop can tabs, and I'm making my first pop can tab purse, and it should be finished by, uh, I'm hoping, middle, beginning of the week, because I don't get much time to work on it at night, so, and I've been making my jewelry, making earrings, um, sorry about that, I seem to have hit the, uh, button, <laughs> anyways. I'm going to say goodbye now for now, and um, I hope to see you all soon. Love you all. Miss you all. I still watch your movies, so your videos, so see you soon. And uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit more the next time I'm on here. I'm sorry I'm not staring at you. Anyways, keep looking, girls and guys. Bye for now.